Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and our Newcastle United series as we carry on through the month of January. Very few transfers likely to happen, it's all about the football and whether we can continue to push up the table. You can see at the minute we've got a six point gap over United who have closed it down for about 10-13 points at one point. So they've done a good job hunting us down but we still have the advantage in the title race. We've got the Champions League knockout stages still to go and the Carabao Cup second leg. Uh, semi-final as well because we beat Arsenal 3-2 away from home in the last leg we'll have that return game at St James's Park today and we should be winning that reasonably comfortably we should also be beating Huddersfield and definitely be beating Shrewsbury taking us to the end of January and then kicking on into the second half of the season proper so a lot to look forward to going ahead but we need to get the win today against Huddersfield to try and build up that gap over United once more because they've been absolutely superb and any more slip-ups will be taken advantage of. So today we've got Keane, Sanabria and Kane all starting up front with Modric and Gruwich both in midfield. Masuaku, Lemos, Rugani, Smalling and Fernandez are in defence with Skufe in goal. Masuaku with the throw in picks out Modric well. He puts the ball in. Lasalle's our former player gets it away, and Gruic then decides to send it all the way back to Smalling when he maybe could have done a bit more in that position. Here's Gedson into Modric. Masuaku with a lot of space, perfect first touch, puts a cross in. Kane arriving, but it's over the bar. Harry Kane with the ball, trying to go out wide. Gedson. Inside to Modric, good switch of the play there to Masuaku. Keane's onto the ball, he's in on goal, but it's saved by Matt Sells. Moise Keane with the ball, out to Masuaku. Poor touch and Flanagan plays in Ian Nacho. He's run past Rugani there, he's got two defenders on him through the middle of them and past the keeper as well. I mean, it's not like he really went on a great run. He just ran in a straight line at the goal and hit the ball directly ahead of him and managed to get a goal. Our defence was awful there. Free kick for Huddersfield. Towards Aloski, or Alioski. He takes it to the byline. Well tackled by Gedson there, and he's released Harry Kane as well. He puts the diagonal ball on beautifully to Keane, who controls it well as well. Into Sanabria in the middle of the play. He's hit the crossbar. If only he could have got that one in, the game really would have been back on for us. Smalling plays the ball out to Masuaku. Now Modric, still in the opening 20 minutes here. Gedson with a good touch, but poor effort at crossing the ball. Now Schindler. Over to Zanka, Schindler again to Alpenasa, Benteke across, and here's Iheanacho, caused some problems already today, having to run down that left flank, back into Classy, moving across the field, picks out Iheanacho again, Benteke's in the middle, he finds him there, ball across, Classy on the strike, and he's found the bottom corner, poor attempt at a save from Scufe, and we're 2-0 down inside 20 minutes against Huddersfield. Masuaku puts it into Keane. We need to get the goal back soon. Sanabria is in on goal and it's a good save. He pulls it back. Kane shot saved again. How are we not getting that ball in? Harry Kane pushes the ball over to Modric. Back to Lemos. Masuaku with a lot of time and space there. Gets to the ball. Puts the cross in. It's hit the crossbar. Masuaku plays the ball in behind. Keane has gone to it. He's got three across the box. Sanabria one of them and he does bury it in the bottom corner. And we at least have a goal back. Only half an hour gone in this game. So much has happened and we are actually in control of it. So we should be getting our goals back now. Moise Keane just into the second half here. Finds Sanabria. Out to Kane. Yes, Fernandez there and he does pick him out. He's got four players in the box. He's looking for one now. It's come out to Modric. Straight on to Masuaku, four in the box again, puts across, and there's Harry Kane, perfect header by him, just planting it into the back of the net, and we have made it 2-2, back from 2-0 down, and we've got most of the second half to try and get a winner. Just over 20 minutes left, Masuaku into Modric, now Keane, picks out Modric as well in a great position, but he's lost possession there to out Benassar. I think Modric probably tiring and needing to come off the pitch here, because he is going quite old at this point. Here's Misonda into Iheanacho. Ball back to Alpanasa. Classy out to Kachunga. He plays it back to Classy again. Benteke on the left flank. Over to Misonda. Gruwich has won it back. Now Smalling. Dinks over the top. Keane is in behind. And we've got three on two at the back. What has he done there? I mean, honestly, he had two players over against one defender. 
That's horrific decision making. Just less than 10 minutes left as Classy puts the ball in. It's headed out. Now Coutron. Can we counter? Moise Keane is ahead of him. He switches the flank and it's given away, but Rigani wins it. Now Keane, man over his Masuaku, but he doesn't go for him. Masuaku has the ball now, though, and Sells makes the stop. Well, time pretty much up now. We've had the entire second half to try and find a winner and have failed to do so. Very disappointing not to get the win today because it means United can further close the gap on us, which is not what we want at this point because we want to build up a nice big gap to really go at the Champions League. But if we're still in a title fight, it's going to make everything so much tougher. We've lost Masuaki, uh, sorry, Keane just for a couple of days. Um, but as you can see from the league table, seven points clear now, but United can close that down to four. Well, we now need to take on Arsenal in the second leg of our Caribou Cup semi-final. We won 3-2 at the Emirates, so I'm expecting us to win at St. James's Park today. We've got Coutrone, Sanabria and Kane starting up front in a bit of a changed front three. Modric and Gruic continue in central midfield because um, T. Elements is the only player I could really put in there. Uh, Masuaku, Lemos, Rigani, Smalling and Fernandez are in defence. And I'm hoping for a better performance from Skufe than he had against Huddersfield. Masuaku with the throw in early in the game, picks out Kutron. Now Gruich turns, tries to get the cross in. It's come to Sanabria at the far stick, and he drills it into the bottom corner. Two in two for Sanabria now since I brought him back into the team. An excellent finish that makes it 4 2, and a place at Wembley certainly looks on the cards at the moment. Masuaku with the ball, trying to run at the, left back, at the right back, and he's got past him. He's got players in the middle as he puts it in, but Czech comfortably able to make the save. I assume he will launch an attack from that ball. There goes the ball over the top. Good header by Lemos. Sanabria has got it. Switches a play brilliantly to Gedson, who puts in Kane. And first time shot saved by Czech. Kudrone out to Gruic. Good position for him. Finds Gedson. Ball in behind for Kane. Excellent position. Crosses it. Kudrone down. Sanabria on the finish. Excellent play by the team. And we make it 2 0. Corner from Masuaku. Towards Gruich, but Dendonka gets it away. Sanabria, quite deep, but on a hat-trick. Now Masuaku whips the ball in. Vidal away to Sanabria. Now Coutrone, ball given away. And it is a penalty, which I assume Sanabria is going to take for a chance of a hat-trick. It is Sanabria over the ball. If he scores, it's 6-2 on aggregate and surely all over for Arsenal. Sanabria, and he does score. I thought Czech was going to save that, but he's put it into the top corner. 18 goals for him now this season, and it's 3-0 in this second leg of the semi-final. Adelaide. He's got a man making a run on the right-hand side. It's Curry. Puts the ball in. Lacazette, and it's an immediate reply by Arsenal. Lacazette's getting the goal there. He's already put the ball in the net once today. He does it for the second time, but this time it does stand. Gedson with the corner. Only half an hour gone in this game. He puts it to the back stick. Cleared away. Sanabria chasing after it. He then takes it to the left flank, drills the ball in, Kane arriving, and he blasts it into that little gap ahead of him and makes it 4-1. This could be about 10 goals today. Lozano's corner for Arsenal. Lacazette's there, it's out to Bentaleb, back out to Lozano. Heads it over the top for Bentaleb again, puts the ball across, Lemos clears it, Gruwich now can counter, plays it over the top and Kane is onto it. He's not got a lot of support, but a player's making a run now, it's Coutrone. Back across to Gruic, 3-4 in the middle, 5 now, but Czech manages to stop it. Kutrone on the left flank, puts the ball inside, Sanabria off the post, ball goes back in, they clear it once more, Kutrone again into the middle, Gedson is there, tackle goes in, Kutrone shoots, blocks, and finally Arsenal scramble it away, but very nearly 5 on within a minute of the second half. Gedson on the right flank, plays it over the top for Harry Kane, two in the middle, Twain for, he's got more arriving, whips it in late, Coutrone with the header, and it is 5-1, 8-3 on aggregate, and our place at Wembley for the final definitely assured. Ten minutes or so left as Tielemans finds Gruic, good ball through to Coutrone, turns, shoots just over the bar. Arsenal today have managed just one shot on target, which was their goal. It's not been their best performance as Sanabria runs through on goal. He's in behind as well, but a poor effort at the end. It's fair to say we've absolutely annihilated Arsenal today. 5-1, and it could have been so many more. It could even be another one here as Pidamonte comes forward. Coutrone in a good area, but the, <laughs> the ball out there was going to be 
Definitely another good chance. But the referee saves Arsenal. You can see from the stats how much we dominated that game in terms of efforts. A very, very good performance, especially after that draw with Huddersfield. And now we can focus on that game against Shrewsbury, which I expect to win by at least three or four goals as well. Well, quite a few changes for this game against Shrewsbury because I am expecting us to win. Still a strong team going out there. We've got Keane, Sanabria and Pinamonte up front. The first time Kane hasn't played in a while. Tielemans comes in from Modric in midfield. And we've also got a completely changed back three with Beck, Otamendi and Holding in defence. And Heaton is making a rare start in goal to give Scufe a bit of a rest. Shrewsbury currently down in 20th in League One, just to give you a picture of how much uh, kind of prospects are for winning this game very early on there just two minutes in the ball just left standing in the box and Tielemans cracks it home for his very first goal of the season they're using the pink ball today which is incredibly hard to see so I wasn't entirely sure what was going on there but we have managed to take an early lead which will settle the nerves of the players quite a lot Gruic in the centre of the park, pushes it out wide to Masuaku. Masuaku, sorry, Keen in behind, puts the ball in, Sanabria's header just over the top. Free kick for Pinamonte, good position, lays it off to Gruic, now Keen has it. Big tackle goes in, Sanabria gets the ball up, puts the cross in, cleared out by Byrne. I don't know why Pinamonte didn't go for goal from the free kick, but Holding can rebuild the attack. Pushes it to Otamendi, now Gruic onto Tielemans, Keen into Sanabria, turns, might have a shot, big tackle goes in, Lumeka with the ball. He pushes it up the pitch, Gruic with it once more. Good run for Masuaku, if he picks him out, and he does, here is Masuaku, cross goes in, header from Maguire, but Keen's header goes over the bar. Holding with the throw into Gruic, inside to Tielemans. Now Masuaku just about keeps the ball from Stacey. Cross goes in. Tielemans again onto Gruic. Pushes it to Pinamonte. It feels like we're playing with them at the minute. And Sanabria in behind does snap the ball in the back of the net. Five goals in the three games since I brought him back into the team. And that's his 50th goal for Newcastle as well. A very underrated player by me. I'm on my own, own admission. He could be playing so many more games. But the trouble is that we have five great strikers in the team and he is probably towards the bottom of that pile but here's Dunn in behind puts a cross in and it's nearly hit the crossbar there I think Hopper goes after it but Beck clears it away Gruic coming forward finds Sanabria ball in behind for Pinamonte he's in on goal finds Keane there was an open goal because Pinamonte pulled the keeper out of position Beautiful composure to pick out Keane there and he just slots it home for 3-0. And our place in the fifth round, absolutely sure. Lineker puts a cross in from the free kick. It's rolling around and fortunately just goes wide and I think the flag went up. Maguire with the throw in, picks out Hopper. Now Nolan puts the ball across, Harness has it. And just to keep the ball, good tackle goes in there by Masuaku. Down the line. Keen has control of it, running inside. Tries to play it in behind, Sanabria gets to it, puts the cross in, Pinamonte's there for the header, and he finds the bottom corner for 4-0. Nearly full time here as Holding picks out Pinamonte, ball across to Gruich on the edge of the area. Now Tielemans goes for goal, and he's found the top corner. A beautiful finish by him, never scored for us before today, now he's got two. Just a minute to go here as Harness puts the ball across. Luneka on the volley and he smashed that one past Heaton who loses his clean sheet. A brilliant finish by the left back and it's now 5-1. There's the full-time whistle. A great 5-1 win away from home against a struggling League One team. I mean, had it been anything else today, I'd have been quite disappointed. I'm actually disappointed we gave away the clean sheet as well, but not the end of the world. The most important thing is we got progression against a team that could have been a little bit difficult. We have lost Gedson Fernandez for two months, so that is not ideal because we don't have a complete depth of players at right wing back. Um, although I'm sure Rob Holding will be able to do the job there. I mean, it's a pretty good episode all in all. Disappointing to have drawn with Huddersfield, but we got games against Spurs at home next with Wolves to follow away from home and then Liverpool at home as well. So there's two very tough matches. Um, and then after that, we've got the real big ones, a fifth round FA Cup tie, Champions League knockout stage football and the Carabao Cup final. So make sure to subscribe for those fixtures when they come out 
in a few days time make sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed back-to-back 5-1 -back wins but until next time see ya